Hello everyone, this is Deepak. I will be your instructor for this online tutorial on learning Java. I love teaching and my primary goal is to empower you all by supplying the experience and knowledge on this subject. You will see that composing a program will be very natural and satisfying experience. This tutorial is essentially for folks who want to dive into the world of programming and have started with Java. If you like this course, please do not forget to like and subscribe our channel to get regular updates. In this tutorial, we will first discuss what are programming languages and what is Java. Then we will discuss history of Java and how it stands among other programming languages. Here we will cover birth and evolution of Java. We will also see how Java is comparable with other programming languages. Finally, we shall see how to set up our machine for Java programming. After this tutorial, you should feel excited about learning more and more Java. Without further ado, let's get started. Before we begin to talk about Java, let us understand what is a programming language. A programming language defines the way to communicate with the computer. It is used to make a computer perform something by providing it some instructions. Every programming language has its own syntax and constructs which are used to provide programs or instructions to the computer. When one has understood the notation and constructs of a programming language, he or she can start writing programs in that language. It is like once I learn grammar and words of German language, I can start communicating in that language. Programming languages are low level or high level in nature. A high level programming language is easier to understand and user friendly. On the other hand, low level programming languages are closer to computer hardware and are useful for writing operating systems and firmware. There are various programming paradigms you will hear about. Something like procedural programming, object oriented programming, functional programming. They are simply different approaches to solve the problems in a programming language. For now, let's move on to understand what is Java. Now Java is considered as both a programming language and a platform. Java programming language is a high level object oriented language and has a particular syntax and its own style. With Java 8, it is also capable of creating functional programs. For example, when you hear Java 6, Java 7, Java 9, now these all are versions of a programming language. Java platform is a particular environment in which Java programming language applications run. For example, Java SE, Standard Edition, Java ME, Micro Edition, Java EE, Enterprise Edition, Java FX, they all are various Java platforms. Now let's talk about how did Java come into place and how did it evolve till date. Java was simpler and platform independent alternative to C++. It, it was initially developed by James Gosling when he was modifying C++ code to make it suitable for set top box. The language it was initially called as oak interestingly because there was an oak tree in front of the developer's window but later Sun's marketing department named it Java. Sun Microsystems released the first public implementation of Java 1.2 in 1995. As of now the latest stable version is Java 8 update 121. Oracle Corporation is currently the owner of Java language. Right now it is working on Java 9 which will be released in July 2017. OpenJDK is another notable Java implementation which is licensed under GNU GPL license. Now, Another interesting point that you should consider now is that learning Java will help you in creating Android applications also because Java is the key pillar of Android and which is an open source mobile operating system. Now let me ask one thing, 
how popular is java in order to understand the popularity of java we can look for tau base score tau base is a software quality company that tracks the evolution and popularity of programming languages and guess what java is number 1 in the market during the last two decades java has maintained its status as one of the most popular programming languages for everything from programming games to creating mission critical applications such as those for trading on wall street or controlling mars rovers because the pool of java developers is huge large and small corporations like to use java for the development of new projects if you decide to leave the project for whatsoever reason it's not too difficult to find another java programmer to replace you now that we know that we are on right track we should quickly get into action and set up our environment to start programming in java we shall learn how to install java on an operating system it's pretty easy all you have to do is go to google and search oracle java downloads the first link will take you to oracle java ic downloads page where you can download the jdk and jre based on your operating system after accepting the terms and conditions you might wonder what is jdk and jre jdk is the java development kit which comes with the developer tools along with the jre that is java runtime engine also we might code java programs on command line as well as on an ide called eclipse we shall also see eclipse installation in later part of this tutorial as i said we might write code programs on command line in some situations in order to recognize java as a valid command we have to set some variables in the operating system environment on windows we might have to set path variable to include the jdk and jre binary locations similarly for using build tools like maven you might have to set java home as well let's see all this in action to understand better when you search on oracle java downloads on google the first link takes you to the oracle java downloads page here you see that there is an option for jdk download when you click it it takes you to another page where you can accept the license agreement and choose the appropriate download option based on your operating system i work on windows with 64 bit os so i am selecting jdk 8u121 windows x64 exe once i click on this i get the location to download since i have already downloaded this and executed this executable java is already downloaded and it installed on my system let's see after installation where does jdk binaries lie for this you shall go to c drive program files java and you shall see two folders jdk 1.8 and jre 1.8 both these folders have the binary folder again this binary folder contains the necessary executables in order to make these executables available on the command window we might have to set some path variables for this go to control panel go to system then move to advanced system settings and click on environment variables here you shall see system variables and one of the most useful system variable is path click on that and double click you shall see a list of locations put in the path variable you can see the last three lines where i have put the jdk 1.8 and jre 1.8 binary folders as the available locations once you do this java should be successfully available on the command line as well let's see this on command prompt when i write java minus version 
I get to see that Java is recognized command. Also, you will work in later tutorials with Java compiler known as Java C. Even that should be recognized command. Once we have installed Java and set the path variables, what we should do next is we should also install Eclipse IDE on our operating systems. For this again go to Eclipse downloads page on Google and then once you are available on this site then click on Eclipse IDE for Java Enterprise Edition developers. Once you click on this you will have option to download multiple packages. Since this is Windows 64 bit OS, I click on this link and my download start gets started. Once you click on download, Java JE Neon gets downloaded. Now this is essentially a zip file. As soon as this zip file gets downloaded, you just have to extract this to your favorite location and then create shortcut for the eclipse.exe file in the extract folder. After this, you are all set with installing Java and also installing Eclipse on your operating system. So in this tutorial, we learned about Java. We discussed how it came into existence. We learned about Java popularity and why should we learn this. We also installed Java on our operating system and also we set up an IDE for our complex programs. I hope you like this session. If you like this, please subscribe to our channel. See you in next tutorial. Goodbye.